Okay, so this week or next week, we, we meet the student. Right? So how we want to recognize that their name. So I'm using PowerPoint maybe. I get the name from the e-learning, all right? And I'm using a Google Meet if the uh, e video conference have a problem, all right? If I want to run synchronized online class. If in synchronized, okay, maybe I use a tweets, okay? A learning management system is very important to make sure that they can keep engaged with me, all right? And then there's, there are people who said that when we do a lecturing, there is no more active learning. There is no more problem-based learning. No. In 45 minutes, you can arrange a simple okay, problem-based learning or simple collaborative learning between them. All right. So no need for them to own their video because it's very hot. Okay. The environment is very hot. For example, okay, if they want to have a light, okay, it's very hot. So what should you do? back in, in the learning management system. You can use forum. Okay, make sure that you always keep uh, sharing with the, with the people, okay, out there, all right? So, uh, okay, if you want to share video, you can share slide, you can share your uh, YouTube, you can share your link, okay, for example, it's, this it depends on you. The, the important is you are doing a screen sharing. Okay, uh, just show discussion, assign problem, discuss and report back the uh, result in this big group. So this is one of important. You can use a Google Doc or shared slide set, okay? Or if you can uh, using uh, and synchronize, okay, online class, you can use the learning management system. Okay, for the large group discussion, for example, here, all right? So there is a chat room here, okay? You can go to the chat room, go more, get a chat. So the chat here, there is a attendance, okay? And also can put something, okay, in the chat. For example, here, okay, let's I share with you, since you are uh, still, uh, okay, looking for the um, information more, all right? So. Okay, I send to you, to every one of you, the link, okay? The link that you can go after the class, okay? I practice the online class, okay? Synchronize and asynchronize with the student, all right? Especially, okay, the uh, content is very huge, so I need to use asynchronize. So, for example, I need one minute paper point notes, okay? In this case, you can use chat room. You can also use... Uh, Okay, provocation, okay, mentimental, all right, and then um, octalysis, okay, mind map, and so on. So all you put, ask them to put a video in the in the e-learning. There are so many ways, all right. So don't worry, whatever pedagogy you want to bring, whether you want to do a collaborative, okay, problem-based learning, okay, active learning, you can use a tool to make it more clear. I'm also using peer review, okay, peer review, in this case, I need a feedback, okay, I can use e-learning, I can use Google Meet, whatever, I get the feedback from Google Dot or Monkey, Survey Monkey. I can use a Slack or Padlet, okay, if I want to do as a synchronized Padlet, they keep result, okay, uh, till now. Okay, I love if you can go to this uh, QR code, use your handphone. So what is the feedback after you answering the padlet itself? Okay, okay, let's we share with this one. Okay. Okay, we just explained the padlet.com. All right. Uh, we ask you to write the task aspect or the element to integrate your pedagogy and educator point zero tool. Okay, some of your friends said that there are prepare two minutes reflection paper or group with a group of students and ask them uh, what they like and what they want to understand and which they not understand, right? So the other parties here that uh, we refer to the course outline. Okay. I want to share with you, okay, how I teach the uh, learning programming software with the education uh, 4.0 tool and how to do that. All right. I hope uh, Dr. Yudaria is there. Uh, okay, Dr. Yudaria. Okay, so let's I share. Okay, now I start uh, sharing. Okay, the uh, I'm stop sharing. Okay, I start uh, allow um, Dr. Yudaria as a host. Thank you, Dr. Noma. Thank you. Okay, um, I'm going to share with you, so since uh, time is really short, so this is just a sneak peek of what you can do. Okay, so um, 
I'm, to, I'm going to share with you the slide first. So that's actually this uh, software that I'm going to share with you, which is GeoGebra. So you, if you have, if your course is a very uh, heavy in mathematics content, then this is a very good uh, software. For one, it's an open source. That means it is uh, freely available online. Okay, and it brings together all the mathematics subjects and it's easy to use. So that's actually the, uh, the URL. Okay, so you just type in www.jogebra.org and you're going to go there. Okay, so I'm going to share with you this GeoGebra website. Right, so can you see the screen? Okay, so this is geogebra.org. So that's how it looks like. It also has its own uh, whiteboard. Okay, if you just click on notes. Okay. So this is actually a whiteboard in GeoGebra. Okay, so if you like to scribble or if you like to teach manually, okay, so you can use a pen. So there's a pen there. Okay, and you can say you want to give a task. So the task is say solve. Okay, whatever equation say uh, y prime is equals to x plus y. So there's a ODE. Okay, and then you can show the solution manually. Okay, so this is a, just like a, a whiteboard, digital whiteboard. So you want students to solve this. Okay, but you're going to illustrate now using the software. Okay, so what you're going to do is just, so it's very easy. Okay to use this. So it requests for the equation. So the equation is simply x plus y. So you just put in x plus y and then just click. And now you have a different okay, uh, presentation. Just now you do it manually. Now you do it online. Okay, And the discussion now is much more meaningful in the sense that you can uh, bring the students to understand okay, the question, okay, the solution in a, a mathematical sense. Okay, so let's say I'm going to illustrate another one more. So this is a GeoDebra classic. Okay. Say you want to uh, draw the curve, the, uh, the uh, parametric curve. Okay, so let's bring out the expression here. So this is actually the figure. Okay, and you can move it around okay. to have a better view. So this is where it helps the student in the visualization. So you want uh, to show how the motion is. So you can do more here. So for example, say you put in a point, say t equals to zero, so point, and you want this point to move. Okay, so then you can create the slider. Okay, now since there are three variables there, or three parameter uh, equation, so you can just leave one. So this is actually the one that you want, right? So that is it, okay, with all the, okay, so this is actually the one that we want. Okay. So you want to illustrate to students that this is actually a vector. Okay. Uh, the curve is actually representing a path of this moving object. So the yellow is, you know, so all the, the, the one that you want students to focus on can be shown using this apps. Okay, that's what uh, I'm saying. Okay, so, um, so this is GeoGebra. Okay. So you can even have a... Uh, Another more versatile uh, whiteboard, okay? For some, for example, you want to include also the collaboration. So this is uh, where you may use uh, Jamboard. So uh, apps that you can use. Okay. So this is also a whiteboard, okay? a digital whiteboard, but compared to the GeoGebra, the GeoGebra whiteboard is just uh, including, uh, where you can include the uh, mathematical software. But this one, you can use it to, uh, make students collaborate with each other, okay? So you can uh, share the link, okay? You can uh, click here. So there will be a window, okay? So you get the link, okay? Then you can copy this, copy this link, okay? Link copy it and you can, okay? Paste it here, okay? So Jamboard is actually a Google a virtual or dynamic whiteboard okay so you can paste this link okay there you have it and you can okay copy this okay use your pen and instruct the students so then the students will have access to it right so this is where you can also paste your slide 
So this is the slide that you use in class, for example. Okay. And you can now put your worksheet. Okay. So this is the worksheet or the uh, task that you want students to solve. Say, for example, this one. Okay. And they need to do the sketching so they can go to GeoGebra okay, and uh, import the graph. Okay. So I have done it here. So these are all the graphs that comes from the GeoGebra. Okay, so now you can ask students to discuss. Okay. Or you can create groups. Okay, you can invite again, you can share this one here, click and share and invite these four students. So all the other students will not be able to enter this frame, only these four students. Because you give this particular task for them to discuss and you can also create, say, another group too. Okay, now you give a different figure, but the question is the same. So you can see there is actually a more... Uh, discussion going on uh, regarding this topic All right so, and then you can create another frame okay and reflection that means once uh, every group have done okay, you can uh, share this okay and they can have a gallery walk of what has been going on okay so this is all the frames that we have and this frame all this one here will be saved automatically in the club so you, the students can have access to it uh, asynchronously okay, when, when they want to refer back to what they have done uh, earlier. Okay. So, um, so if we go to this conclusion, say you want to do a reflection, so students can, uh, you know, you post a question, say uh, the most important thing I learned. Okay. And then they can use the sticky note. Okay. This is the sticky note to um, put their response. See, I have learned about vector. Okay. So, see. Okay. okay, the most important thing I learned. So, then you can give response to this uh, feedback. Okay. Say, you can, uh, you know, all the negative response or the students that have issues. Okay. And you can address that. Okay. So I think uh, I'm going to pass it back to Dr. Noma. Okay. So uh, it's a very <coughs> quick uh, illustration, but because of the time, so I hope that helps. Okay, so back to you, Dr. Noma. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Associate Professor Dr. Yudara explaining one of the example how to integrate between online okay, activities based on some uh, head, uh, pedagogy involved and education. Uh, 4.0 tool, okay, she are trying to explain about the geometry, algebra, calculus, drawing 3D graph, and then the uh, pedagogy here is a uh, discovering learning using geogebra.org. It's very easy to register, all right, and then um, we no need to purchase, and then she tried to explain the active learning with the iterative delivery with a tool, for example, geometry, uh, workspace, digital, whiteboard, Mentimeter, Padlet, and Jamboard. All right. So all the data will be uh, easy to get from cloud and then easy to upload and post to um, TES, DES, DCP. All right. I also suggest, okay, iPad with the apps, with the Apple Store, which is so many Okay, software you can use to draw 3D, which is uh, very easy to represent the virtual lab using a software, okay, as an engine, okay, to make sure that this is a reality virtual lab by using MATLAB. You can use console multiphysics, okay. You can also use uh, open source software, for example, Scilab, Python, and so on. So all easy, okay, software. Right? You can uh, look and see, it's very easy to understand and easy to apply during your uh, teaching and learning for next semester. All right. So as a conclusion, we can uh, sit that here. Uh, let's blend from face-to-face -face activities, okay, from using books and notes to the online teaching and learning to the e-content. All right. Aware about the best and the most current scientific data, learning and teaching, and the uh, education 4.0 tool, right? let's re redesign the course information with a new trend, okay, new knowledge, new technology, right? So, 
okay, use this term to the student. Okay, learn how to learn. All right, and then uh, of course, as a teacher, as an educator, all right, uh, we need to okay integrate with the holistic value. For example, integrity, responsibility, wisdom, glory, morality, courage, and justice. Okay, uh, thank you very much. Okay, for this sharing session.